after that person slows down, what if you still don't understand what they're saying? So here comes to the final sentence. You can say, Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Siki. I'm a native Mandarin Chinese speaker and a Chinese language tutor. I'm here to help you learn Mandarin Chinese in a fun way for free. So let's get into today's topic. Five most important Chinese sentences to learn for beginners. The first one is something. 用中文怎么说? Something. 用中文怎么说? How to say something in Chinese? 用中文 means in Chinese. 怎么 means how. 说 means say or speak. So something 用中文怎么说 means how to say something in Chinese. For example, chips 用中文怎么说? How to say chips in Chinese? Computer 用中文怎么说? How to say computer in Chinese? This one is extremely important for Chinese learners, especially beginners, because you're not going to learn every single word in the textbook. Being curious and learning when you're not in the classroom is crucial for learning any languages. And speaking from my personal experience, compared to learning words from a textbook, the words you learn in the conversation with someone in the context are just so much easier for you to remember. The second one is, 不好意思,我没听清 Sorry, I didn't quite hear you. 不好意思 has the meaning of excuse me or sorry in Mandarin Chinese. 我 means I. 没 means no, but here it means didn't. 听 means hear. 清 means clearly. So 不好意思,我没听清 together is Sorry, I didn't quite hear you. This one is an indirect way to ask people to repeat what they just said. When you're speaking your second or third language, there will be times that you just don't understand. It might be because the other person is speaking too fast, or there are a couple um, words in the sentence that you haven't learned yet, or um, it's just simply because you're not used to that person's accent. But this is the perfect chance to figure out what you don't know and turn it into something you know. So when you don't understand, say 不好意思,我没听清 to kindly ask that person to repeat what they just said instead of just um, giving up and moving on in the conversation. The third one is 请再说一遍 请再说一遍 Please say it again. 请 means please. 再 means again. 说 means say or speak. 一遍 means once. So 请再说一遍 together means please say it again. Compared to 不好意思,我没听清, this one is a more direct way to ask someone to repeat what they just said, but both sentences are pretty polite. The fourth one, 我刚开始学中文,请您说慢一点。我刚开始学中文,请您说慢一点. I just started learning Chinese. Please speak a little slower. 我 means I. 刚 means just. 开始 means start. 学 means learn. 中文 means Chinese. 请 means please. 您 is a respectful way of saying you. 说 means say or speak. 慢 means slow. 一点 means a little. So, 我刚开始学中文. I just started learning Chinese. 请您说慢一点. Please speak a little slower. But after that person slows down, what if you still don't understand what they're saying? So here comes to the final sentence. You can say something Something What does something mean? 是 plays a be verb role in this Chinese sentence. 什么 means what. 意思 means meaning. 
So something 是什么意思 What does something mean? This one is very useful when you hear a Chinese word somewhere but you don't understand. For example, 打五折是什么意思 What does 打五折 mean? 胡同是什么意思 What does 胡同 mean? So we have finished learning all these five most important sentences for beginners. So let's review them together. So the first one, something. 用中文怎么说 Something. 用中文怎么说 How to say something in Chinese. The second one, 不好意思，我没听清。不好意思，我没听清。Sorry, I didn't quite hear you. The third one, 请再说一遍，请再说一遍 Please say it again. The fourth one, 我刚开始学中文，我刚开始学中文 I just started learning Chinese. 请您说慢一点 Please speak a little slower. 请您说慢一点 Please speak a little slower. The fifth one, something 是什么意思 Something 是什么意思 What does something mean? Okay, so that's today's five most important、um, Chinese sentences to learn for beginners. If you do think this video is helpful, give it a like and subscribe. You can also turn on the notification bell so every time when I upload a new video, you can learn Mandarin Chinese for free. And don't forget to share your tips of learning Mandarin Chinese in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.